people, it is Sam Ryder back with another YBBG topic. And today's topic is, if you had to choose, would you choose your mate or your friends? How often does this typical thing come up? Um, for many people, it comes up quite often. Usually it deals with, you know, who you're going to spend your time with and, you know, you're spending too much time away from your girls or your homeboys and you have someone new in your life, you're forgetting your friends. Or on the flip, your mate tells you you're spending too much time with your friends, maybe single friends or whatever, or you have a situation where you have friends of the opposite sex and your mate is not having it. So who do you choose? It's funny that I asked this question a few days ago because last night on one of my favorite reality shows, and I love reality shows for some strange reason, but I really do love them. The question came up in a rather, I guess for many, sad way with Jennifer Williams and Evelyn Lozada on Basketball Wives Season 3. The issue revolved around Evelyn's relationship with Chad Johnson. Oh, sorry, Ocho Cinco, whatever his name is. His mama named him Chad Johnson. I'm going to call him Chad Johnson. Anyway, <laughs> it involved that whole situation. And apparently Jennifer did a radio interview where she said that Chad was a media whore. She could not understand why Evelyn got with him. Yada, 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 yada. One of Evelyn's uh, so-called friends from Cleveland or wherever it was emails her or phones her and tells her that Jennifer did this interview and Evelyn was pissed. But my question is, why are you pissed? Jennifer clearly said this on TV to millions of people last season. So it's not like it's something we haven't heard before. She's already said it. She told that to you directly. But anyway... So it became this whole big deal. And Evelyn surprisingly told Jen that this would forever change their friendship. Really? And she also told Shawnee and Tammy that she never tells her homegirls about her dudes because of, you know, I guess past experiences. But... If you're Jen's friend, wouldn't you give her that type of advice when she continuously came to you about her issues with Eric, you know, her husband, who she is now divorcing? That whole friendship, phony friendship, whatever you want to call it, not a solid friendship, at least not what I consider a friendship, speaks volumes to the question that I ask. Because I think whenever you have a situation where your mate is at odds with your friends, you have to check the level of relationship that you have with either of them. For one, a new mate that just comes in and wants to clean house and get rid of all of your friends, there's something wrong with that person. There are some insecurities there. And that's not what you want, at least not in my opinion. You may think differently. Maybe he wants all of your time and he's just so in love or... She just needs you that much and your boys are dragging you away. Eh, whatever. Sounds like a crazy person to me. Anyway, and on the flip, if you have these shady, shysty friends who are always trying to break up your relationship, there is something wrong with your friendship because your friend should always want what is best for you. Now, granted, if you were with some jerk and... You know, he was doing you wrong, doing you dirty or whatever. Okay, I can understand. However, at the point where you decide to continue to stay with this person, um, that being male or female, that you decide to stay with your mate, your friend should just leave it alone unless you're being abused, I'm saying. But your friend should leave it alone, respect it, accept it, and deal with you on that level and pray that you will come to your senses. But that goes back to what type of relationship do you have? How strong is that friendship? Is your friend doing this because they're concerned about you? Or are they more concerned about themselves? That's the question you have to ask in that, in that type of scenario. 
And honestly, at some point, you really do have to make a decision. And this happens often when you have those phony friends who you've been friends with for a very long time, but the relationship just continues because of loyalty and not on the strength of the friendship. You need to check that situation because if you're in a really good relationship and your so-called friend is doing everything within his or her power to see it end, you need to check that friendship. Let it go. Some people really cannot release themselves from relationships or bonds that they've had for many years just out of the fact that it's been going on for so long. But seriously, I don't care how long the friendship is or what have you. Some people aren't meant to go on into other um, realms of your life. It's like you went through that phase. You had those friends. It's time to move on and move along. You can't drag everybody with you everywhere you go. There's not room. People will disagree with that. Um, but whatever. At some point, you'll open your eyes and realize as an adult that having a click is not what friendship is about. Friendship is about the depths of your relationship, the honesty that you have, the growth that you see in each other, the happiness that you wish for each other, and the ability for both of you to be mutually beneficial to the relationship. And if it's not there, it's not there. I don't care how long y'all have been girls or homeboys. That's just foolish. As to the mate, here's the thing. I don't think a good mate would necessarily ask you to just cut off all your friendships or whatever, but sometimes your mate may see things in your friends that you don't see or that you refuse to see and vice versa. Your friends may see things in your mate that you don't see or you refuse to see. For your mate, I think your girlfriend or boyfriend or whomever has to respect and love you enough to know that you make good decisions when it comes to people. I mean, you did choose them. So for them to start asking you or questioning your friendships all of a brief sudden or, you know, when it's a good friend, somebody who you know is good to you, who you don't question their loyalty and their goodness in your life, then you might want to check your mate. Because... There has to be a level of trust and honesty and courtesy to the bonds you have with the people who've been in your life. And any good mate will see that and understand why you have those friendships and how beneficial those friendships are to you. So at the end of the day, it comes down to you knowing the people that you have in your circle you know what their intentions are for you and for your friendship or for your relationship and deciding how you will balance the two because there has to be some balance. Anyway, you can chime in on this topic on my blog where I'll post this video. It's also going up on YouTube, of course. And holla at me and let me know what you think. Will there come a time when you have to make a decision who you'll choose, your friend or your mate? And how will you make that determination? Holla at me. See you later.